So, I'm going to do a quick video on how to install RAM in my new Mac Pro 2020 to show you how easy it is or how easy it isn't I don't know what will happen I will just quickly say it's a bit of a boring story this but I've ordered the Mac it's a, uh, it came with 32 gig of RAM in it it's a 16 core uh, processor I bought the least amount of RAM because I wanted to upgrade the RAM myself I made a terrible mistake with it I bought 256 gig of LR DIMM now it comes with R DIMM the computer so it doesn't match you can't match the two and also I found out to my amazement and shock now this is what I didn't know so hopefully you won't make the same mistake but you can't have I was thinking, okay, I'll just put 256 gig of RAM in it. It's plenty enough for me. But you can't. You have to have two pair. It has to be in pairs. So I, I put the the two sticks of 256 and got a warning sign. I'll show you on the film what it said. So <clears throat> what I've done now is, is I've ordered some. I've ordered six times 64 gig, and and that is what's just come. And before I send the 256 back, I wanted to make sure this works. So that's where we're at. I hope that makes sense. So let's have a look at this RAM I've just bought from a place called Mr. Memory. Oh, I'm gonna be peeved if there's a problem with this. I just need to get my system up and running. I'm migrating from an old 2010 Mac Pro which has served me very very well and still is actually but things are slowing down a bit I've, I've got big libraries that I use oh dear. right and here we are six of these well I shall earth myself before I put them in just going to pull the computer out and put it up there and focus you up and we can see what happens okay I'm sure you've all seen it umpteen times before but pretty simple to open it up it's a little handle on top it was already open Come straight off. Pop that there. So, a little lock on the side here. There's little plastic flaps that tell you where you should configure the RAM, depending on how many um, strips you use. So we're going to use, well I've got to take these out because these are not going to, they're not going to work. There you go, 12 slots, you can have up to 1.5 terabyte of RAM. I'm never going to need that. So I should probably just check. So if I'm going to use six, it's got to go in one, three, and six at the top, and eight, ten, and twelve at the bottom. I'm quite dusty already. This is the Mac RAM. I'll probably sell. I mean, if I thought about this, I would have. It's just actually very, very. 
confusing all the the numbers and the amount of pins you need and I'm half tempted to keep the 256 you see the reason I bought 128 gig strips was because I wanted I didn't want to have to get lumbered what was it again one three and six one three and five it's got a little slot there and you have to match those up with the slots that looks about right to me can you see you do need both hands and it should just make a lovely click that was the lovely click I was after so if I put eight in you know what I'm going to change my mind and put the eight I'm going to put the eight in why not well let's just go for it see I had this all packaged up ready to send it back but oh what the hell it's expensive stuff so beautifully packaged back up I'd say look at that probably try not to damage the box too much in case I do need I hope this works together so okay so I've changed my mind I'm going to put eight strips in the six I just bought and two strips of 128 so we're going to go for eight strips three so this one needs to be in three three four so I'll put the three in a row yeah See, it's possible you never force those on you just check that you've got the slots in the right place I hope I'm configuring this the right way round because these are going to be different sizes. There's going to be, well, eventually there's going to be six. Six 64 strips and two 128s, which will give me a total of, oh, I can't work that out. It's a hell of a lot of RAM. near that click yeah there you go so we're gonna grab a 128 strip Ooh, I won't even bother telling you how expensive these were horrible if they don't work of course next year they'll be half the price right that's the first part done now we're going to go seven eight nine and ten wrong way I'm by no means a professional you may have sussed that out and see the reason I might I do 
edit videos sometimes and I have found myself struggling with my old Mac Pro it's not been keeping up with the game it's fine if you use proxy files in Final Cut Pro that really really helps I just want to get up to date with everything and is this right? Yep, set them all in a row. We'll put the last big strip. And here's the last one. And the slot in the right place. Ten. See all the Just put these covers back on. I got a little slot somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Tiny little groove which goes this end. Thing is, when you take things hands on and take things apart to learn there you go pop this back on twist done right. no nope. no good see that flashing light what have I done wrong? So it needs to work in pairs. So maybe the pair. Yeah, the pair of 128s maybe have to be together. They have to work in pairs. Oh, it's such a learning curve, all this. OK, I'm going to pull it out again and we'll try again. So let's try again. What I did is just took 164 out and put it where the 128 was and swapped that over. I'm gonna switch it on. Always nervous times. I can't even see that. Still not liking it. Something's wrong still. Right, let's try again. What I've cowardly done this time is not bothered with the two strips of 128. Let's see what happens now. Get the red light of doom. No, white light. So it's something to do with the way I'm mixing the 64s and 128s. Maybe they don't talk to each other. I don't know. Gonna have to look into that. It's a bit disappointing. Or I'll just send the two 128s back. Hopefully I'll get my money back. Come on in, there's no life yet. Oh, there's the apple. About this map. Oh, let me guess get. Can I drag the screen flick up there? No. Okay. I can drag that there, can I? Right. There it is. Memory, 384. I mean, that's more than enough, isn't it? So that's working. While I'm here. OK, yeah, that's 
got the configured. Your Mac contains eight PCI card slots, three of which are currently in use. Oh, it's talking about, sorry, wrong one. Right, three lots of 64, all good. What I'm going to show you while I'm here. Right, I want you to just see the select target drive. Uh, we'll just go for documents there so you can see how fast this is the four terabyte Mac drive that it comes with. That is pretty impressive, right? I think that's going to shift enough data quickly enough. It's lovely to load up, be able to load up some of the huge libraries I use. And they are massive. Okay, you've seen enough of that. Wait for the wait for this. This is gonna blow you away. It blew me away. Ready? Whoa! Oh my goodness me! Look at that speed. That's outrageous. And I'll tell you how I achieved that if you're interested. Well, you probably know. I spent a lot of money. That's basically how I achieved that. But that's overkill for what I need to do. But it can never be enough, can it? Anyway, pretty impressive, huh? Right, that'll do for now. Thanks for watching. And um, I'll show you how, what I did. I ra basically raided up four SSD cards with a uh, Sonnet PCIe card. If you're interested, I'll make a little quick video of that. And that was so easy, a whole lot easier than fitting this RAM, I'll have you know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye bye.